One of the most amazing experiences is seeing the transformation in the girls and especially my little sister because I was praying for her a lot to come on this trip and God opened the doors for her to come and being able to see her open up and become more entrenched in the Word and just have that fire and desire, I don't know. That cannot be topped in any way. When we first got here, like all the girl, like most of the girls were like shy and timid and and now they're just like crazy on fire. Like they're they're like, I so called speaking tonight and I so called telling a testimony. And it's so cool to see the transformation in people and in myself. These seven weeks have been like absolutely amazing. Like for me, like coming back has been awesome. Like God's really been talking to me about what I want to do for the next couple of years of my life, like really get into the Word and I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm really feel like God's calling me to the mission field and something I thought was like a childhood dream, like when kids were thinking that they were pretending to be a fireman and all that or a policeman. I, was, I wanted to be a missionary and for me it's the craziest thing because I'm actually living out my childhood dreams. Seven weeks in Asia, <laughs> it's been a pretty wild ride, I guess. Like, I don't know, I came here like not really knowing what to expect, like at all, like I've never done any like missions work ever. So like coming here, like I just didn't know what to expect. So everything was just kind of like, oh, like we're doing this, I didn't know. I guess he's taught me like a lot of things. One of them was just like getting me out of my comfort zone. Back in Canada, it was just so easy to like, you know, not really do anything, like just have my nice little way of doing things, like have my nice little routine and just, this is how I like to do things and that's the way it is. And I wasn't really being stretched or I, and I wasn't really growing at all. But like coming here, like I didn't have like any comforts, like there wasn't really anything I could hide behind. It was just like, just me, you know, like all by myself. I guess like God's just really taught me to like depend on Him and it's been really good. I've been really tested a lot, especially with my anger. It's been pretty, I get really mad really quickly. But um, one of the things that um, God's really shown me is how I need to step out in faith a lot more and how, um, like we were talking last night, I said that um, He really wants me to like blindfold myself and just take His hand and really just step on like the rocks and like I like to be in control of my life as most people do. And so I like to choose my own rocks, even though some of those rocks may not be sturdy, I step on them anyways. But um, he just showed me, have faith in him, hold on to him, and just keep walking. So far, I think one of my favorite moments in Seven Weeks in Asia um, was actually in Vietnam. There was this lady, and um, we were, me and Shanice were praying for her, or Shanice and I were praying for her, and um, I just started crying. Like, we both just started crying. We didn't know why. And so I was like, you know, God just thinks you're precious. He's like, his love for you is immeasurable. She, and she was like, well, if God loves me so much, then why are my three children sick? And that just hit me so hard because what do you say to that? Like, I didn't know what to say. So I just started like, like praying and everything. And then I got to share with her my story and how like my mom was sick for a very, very long time. And only recently, like before I came on this trip, like did she get like healed and everything. So it was like, praise God that she's healed. And so I just shared her, like, my struggles and how I got super angry at God. But, like, you got to have faith. you got to have patience. And faith and patience, not my strong points, but now he starts showing me on Seven Weeks in Asia really how to go there. Each week I've learned something new. There's not one thing that just stands out to me the most. In Cambodia, I learned a lot about the oppression there and having a heart for the people. And I really... Um, it broke my heart to see what state the people were in after the ge genocide because 30 years ago a lot of the people are, were involved in it. There are people who were actually trained to kill and they're actually still in Cambodia. There's moms and dads who are gone and their kids are still here. You know, and it really breaks, it broke my teen, teen's heart to just go in the slums and see these kids and the state that they're in. And Vietnam, the people there were such a blessing because they were so much for their faith and it put me to shame because back in Canada I don't I don't need to risk so much because it's a free country to have your own faith and to have your Christianity so seeing how much they put 
at risk to have a meeting in underground church really stretched me. And even though they have so little, they still blessed us so much and gave us so much. Hey, I'm Jason. Um, I've uh, joined this group a little bit later on, later on in the game. I just joined them a couple weeks ago. I had no idea what to expect. So I thought, hey, what a good experience. Find out that they're missionaries, uh, young missionaries that are just going around from village to village just sharing God's love. Uh, it's been quite a trip. God sh showed me so much, especially with things like uh, just his absolute beauty that, that he's created and the love that he has for people. I mean, you just look at uh, the young kids running around in the villages and uh, you just think to yourself that God created them. Uh, you just think to yourself that God created them and he created them so special. He created each and every one of them. And there's millions of kids out there that don't know Christ and he created them and it's so sad. I have to say I've really enjoyed this trip. It's been a ton of fun. I've loved like the kids' ministries and working with them, doing a bunch of silly games, and oh, it's been great. Um, the ministries and preaching haven't been my favorite because it's really pushed me out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad I was pushed because it's really encouraged me, you know, to do things, um, yeah, like I said, out of my comfort zone, and, you know, it, that's what strengthens us is get, overcoming, you know, the things that we aren't, and, you know, so good at. I've never thought that I would be like just praying for people in the underground church in Vietnam. I've never thought that I'd be riding on an elephant's neck just to go minister to a village. It's been really hard hiking up really steep hills. You're just hiking and you don't really know where you're going, but you know that it's totally worth it also in the end because if you minister to 100 people and one person understands and one person grasps, what you're trying to say, it's 100% worth it. It's been kind of hard the seven weeks just because there's always been people around me all the time and not really giving me my space, but I've really kind of come out of my bubble and explored more and seen lots more of the world and stuff. And it's really touched me because of all the ministry we've done, like going to the slums and stuff. It's something I never thought I'd be doing. I never wanted to go to slums in Cambodia or go to Vietnam. It's never really been calling to me, but when I went there, it completely changed my life and I would not have never changed it for anything, you know. It's just stepping forward and just going out there has really encouraged me to do so much more in the future. Seven weeks in Asia has been a really, really good experience. It's really been a life-changing one, actually. He showed me in so many ways about just trusting in him and laying down my life and giving everything to him. So I know like it's really good because I don't think I would have seen it if I had just stayed in Canada. But because I obeyed him in coming, he really showed me and molded me into like more of the person he wants me to be. But I hope to continue growing. In the past seven weeks, God has really been changing a lot about my character and my attitude. Like, I've always wanted to be a missionary and come over here to Thailand. But when I got here, I realized some of the stuff that I was expecting wasn't truly, like, missionary stuff, if that makes sense. Um, like, just, they tell us to do little things and I'd be like, what? Is that really what a missionary does? Because I just, I wasn't expecting it. I never realized that was what we did, they did, we did. <laughs> um, but eventually I could feel like my attitude towards stuff like that changing and like just my character and like what I expected to do and what I expected others to do. You have to come to Seven Weeks in Asia because it is going to completely change your life. Like me and my husband, we were trying to come back from our ministry that we just did and actually we eventually met the Seven Weeks team. I find it like quite a little bit of like a challenge like being up here and I've been through like mud and like going up on elephant rides and everything and I think much of what God has done in me was like reaching out to all these people out there. I praise God that I was be able to come up on this team with them and I really am so encouraged and I think like the vision that God has gave, given me that I wanted to plant a church, He has already shown me how I'm going to start doing that.